Okay, so first I'm going to just be taking this acrylic white. Um, this is just a leather paint. I'm fairly certain you could probably use regular acrylic paint. Um, so besides the acrylic white today, I have um, a few different brushes. I like to use the cheap kind. Um, these are the kind that you can get at the dollar store, the craft store, or I'm sure like Amazon or any art supply store is going to have them. Um, I like using these for this type of project, especially because I don't know what the <laughs> paint will do to it if it dries in the brushes, and I, I don't like using brushes that I love for anything other than um, my watercolors, so that's, that's the vibe. <laughs> other than that, I've got this little disposable makeup sponge and some water off to the side here, so um, until we... Get this painted, that's all we should need for right now. Um, you can wet it after as well, like I just did, um, but I feel like it honestly works the best if you wet the brush beforehand. <laughs> do is add a little bit more detail in terms of like these little half circle like indentations here 
just because those are an important, like the moon is full of those little holes. And I want some of them to be blended and I want some of them to stand out. For this, you're going to want to take a thicker brush. Um, I like using angled ones, and what you're going to do is you're going to put white paint on it. You're going to leave this brush dry, put the white paint on it, and then flick it like that. Um, you can also use like a toothbrush, um, not one that you're going to put in your mouth, obviously, but you can buy a cheap toothbrush and use it for this as well. Um, those fling paint really well. Um, any brush that's got a nice density to it that you can really get a good flicking motion on is going to do you well for this next step. Alright, so now I'm going to take, you might be familiar with this product, this is the High Gloss Acrylic Finisher. 
Um, so I'm just going to shake that up, apply it to a sponge or directly onto the bag and just kind of tap and swipe it into place just depending on the effect that I want. Um, and after that I'm going to be taking some glitter and just applying it sporadically onto the bag. <laughs> Um, so for glitter, you can just take some Mod Podge or some acrylic finisher, and I'm using like a silver grayish glitter here, um, just because, I don't know, it goes with the moon, <laughs> goes with the whole moon theme. I'm not going to be using a ton of it, just as little accents here and there, um, you know, just for a little bit of fun. Um, yeah just where I feel like there could be some more detail and I'm usually working in a circular like motion so I'll take um, I'll take the sponge that I'm using here and I'll just kind of push it into a circle just so I get that effect nice and sparingly but it's still there um, I don't know I don't want to glitter the whole bag at least not yet um, maybe in the future that could be an option for me there we go and I will be back to show you guys the fully finished look um, and reveal in just a moment <laughs> Thank you. 